Tattoos quite popular lately and they come in good, bad and downright ugly. They are hard to put on and extremely difficult to remove. The reasons people get them varies, but a lot of the time eventually they would like them gone. I was a young fella and I thought it was a good idea. But after the years have gone by, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Now you're trying to tell me there came a time when you thought maybe I'd like to get rid of it. The next day. Oh, the next day? Yeah. But you found out maybe that's not easy. No, it, no. it doesn't come off. As many times as you wash it, yeah. it won't come off. So why would you like to get rid of it? Look at it. <laughs> it's very difficult to remove a tattoo. The reason for that is that typically the pigment particles under the skin are made of metal. So iron oxides, mercury oxides, things like that. These are not recognized by your immune system. In fact, they stay there literally forever. So even your immune system cells as they go by don't really recognize them as being foreign. They don't e exhibit any type of antigenicity we call. So the immune system doesn't even know that they're there. So how do you get rid of it? In the uh, past, what we've done is either surgically cut it out which is not ideal because that leaves a pretty bad scar in, in all cases. Uh, the other one would be to do something called dermabrasion where we used to have this rotating saw and we would do, literally abrade the skin and that would leave a, a scar in, in most cases. And nowadays we have laser technology. So laser technology really works in a really uh, interesting way. It, uh, the, when the light goes through the skin, it gets absorbed by those microscopic particles, causes massive vibration, and that causes a bit of injury to the surrounding tissue. Hopefully that injury isn't excessive. If it's excessive, you can develop a lot of scarring. If it's not excessive, it will stimulate your immune system to come to the site of injury and mop up all of that damage. In the process of mop mopping it up, those small pigment particles are taken away. Laser technology has improved tattoo removal. However, it is paramount that the person doing it is well trained and it's not a miracle procedure. If there's too much energy from these new type of uh, tattoo removal lasers, you can cause some pretty uh, decent damage to the skin. Um, it is also very painful. So one of the reasons that you'd want to go to a professional for ta laser tattoo removal is for pain control, but also for safety. So un unfortunately, if too much uh, energy is put into the skin, the uh, surrounding skin will get damaged and sometimes irrevocably. So the immune system we mentioned comes there to, to try to repair it, but it can only do so much. And if there's damage uh, to the surface, even, even the deeper part of the skin, I've seen ulcerations, which is holes in the skin. You can get deep keloid scars that are very thick. You can uh, get permanent discoloration, which makes the tattoo look far, far worse. And all of this can be prevented if you, if you go to somebody who, does, um, who, who knows what they're doing and does a lot of it. If you think about it for a year, kind of consider what you're gonna have on your tattoo. Think about it for a year, if you still love that thought of that tattoo after a year, maybe it's a good idea to keep it, but definitely not being 19 and running into a tattoo shop to get it. <laughs>